Oh, hi there, my Davillians. <laughs> You're probably wondering what I'm doing. Well, I'm making up a damage plan. Basically, it's got the names of everybody at GTS who's wronged me in the past and how. Basically, it's the first step in my justified retribution. So, have a nice day. So I want to give these guys an idea of some of the things I have to do outside here uh, at work during this pandemic. Here's one right here. I had to reattach this damn sign because the zip ties we were using kept breaking. So I went the rope way, tied it up. Let's see how that holds because if that don't hold, those banners are going in the fucking trash. That simple. So there's one. This is the one I still have yet to get to. See? Example of what happens when you use the zip ties. Even when you use multiple ones. You get a strong enough wind, that shit is not fucking holding. And it's a real pain in the ass. So, that's the one that's left. I'm not getting the painting lines again because of call for crappy weather, so now I'm inside doing a different project. Like I said, I'm inside doing a different project now. I'm doing uh, our moving kits. Boom. To give you an idea, I gotta put up the display of what it's gonna look like. Uh, about halfway through, this sucker is gonna be going in front. And bam, I still got to put these ones together to go on top. Any other shit that gets added to the display. So this has been my day so far now that it's getting cloudy and looks like it's going to basically shit on us with the rain again. Uh, so this is my indoor project until lunch, after lunch. No idea what I'm doing after that. So. We'll see. But anyhow, this is what it's like to be an essential in storage during a pandemic. Mm. And there you have it. The finished display. Small boxes on top, medium in the middle, large on the bottom. The box that it all came in, which can be used as basically a TV box or a mirror box. And the tape and other crap that comes with it. So basically, these are my days at work. I'm actually to the point of trying to find things to do to pass the freaking time. Uh, I'll still take it uh, over dealing with all the customers that we used to deal with. So that's a plus. Uh, not only that, between that and the workouts, you know, I can only do so much at work limited things to use, do, etc. Um, you know, that plus whatever projects my district manager puts on me um, when he calls or makes his basically once, sometimes twice a month pop-up visit. Who knows? Th today's a pretty decent day. But they are calling for rain again tomorrow, so lines are held off once again. Uh, who knows, maybe after lunch, I'll go out, clean out my car, some shit. Get something productive done for me. Uh, other than that, I believe I'm like two more days for my 30-day isolation challenge. Uh... Give some updated photos on that. See exactly how it went. Compare it to the ones that I had before. If anything. This is keeping me healthy. Mobile. All that. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if there's any difference or not. Uh, I feel better. That's a plus. Man I'll tell you. Sunday and Monday. My days off cannot come quick enough. Uh. Basically, I want to get through some more of the totes in my shed, break out my freaking 
martial arts books and get back into that practice. Uh, I am very rusty and I didn't get too far with the schooling between money, well, money for the schooling, the fact that schooling only cared about money after a certain point. You had the money, anybody got a belt, moved on to the next level. <clears throat> All that didn't even matter if you knew what you were learning or not. You, you had the money, you moved up. Uh, but anyhow, I want to find those materials, get back into practicing it. Uh, I mean, granted, can't go back to the schooling right now. Uh, even if it was open, uh, couldn't go back to the schooling, but that's a whole different story. Um, anyhow, at least I got the materials I can learn at home. Um, tape it if I have to and critique myself based on other videos, training videos, all that that I've seen. Um, but anyhow, I want to get back into that, incorporate it into the wrestling and basically start turning some heads and surprise some people in that damn ring. Um, hopefully uh, with what they're calling for, don't rain Monday or anything because I would like to get in as much as I can with that. I was just thinking and remembering back to a shoot interview that Grimm did with Pete Corvus. And when Corvus was asked about me, he said, I know my limitations. And he's 100% correct on that. I do. Uh, I like to test them every now and then, try and stretch beyond them, push that limitation barrier further and further. Uh, it's also one of the reasons why when I first started learning martial arts, I wanted my focus to be on Hapkido. Because basically, Hapkido uses punches, throws, grapples, submissions. A lot of things that are used in wrestling. Uh, also one of the reasons why I want to break my stuff out, get back into it. Break out my books. Refresh the memory on what I learned. Continue to go through those books to learn even more. Um, now, basically, when I went for martial arts training, I chose Hapkido because it was the closest thing that came to wrestling. It basically is wrestling. I also chose that because in their training, they trained you how to beat guys bigger than you. How to beat guys who may be stronger than you. How to beat guys that may be faster than you. This is also why I need to get back into refreshing my memory of what I learned and continue that process. Because if that's the case... When all is said and done, it will definitely be helpful in that ring. And it will definitely make me a force to be reckoned with. The damaged one will be leaving a lot of damage behind. And that's the justified truth.